Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome to day five of 21 days of prayer. And today we're gonna to be talking about purpose. But what happens when your purpose doesn't feel like it's actually moving? Have you ever had God speak to you in a dream or a vision? Has he laid out the plans that he has for your life but somewhere it feels like you just got stuck and there's no progress to be made? You feel like you're in line at Disney World for your favorite ride and then all of a sudden the ride breaks down and you're stuck inside of this hot, sweaty queue surrounded by hundreds of people and you're too far into the line to get out, but you're too close for the ride to start again to get off. So sometimes being in the middle just isn't a fun place to be. But it's here that I'm reminded of David and how we can be encouraged about his story on the path to his purpose of becoming the king. Now in 1 Samuel the 16th chapter verse 1 through 13, we learn how David was anointed to be the next king of Israel. And while he was going to eventually become the greatest king to ever be crowned for the city, for the people, he had to get there and he had to go through a process. See, in order to get to his destiny and his purpose, David had to manage the in-between. And here's the thing, if we can manage our middle, will master our purpose. David was able to master everything that was put before him and in turn it gave him the edge to be a great king. So it doesn't matter what your middle might be today. Maybe your middle is singleness. Well the integrity and the discipline that you have for yourself now will make you a great spouse. Maybe you're waiting for that leadership opportunity to happen. The way that you act and operate as a follower will open the doors for you to get those opportunities. You see, Matthew 25 and 20, verse 23 teaches us that if we're faithful with the little, God can trust us with much more. So while the middle can be uncomfortable, it's where greatness is birth. So how do we actually manage being the middle? Well, I have two ways that I think that can help us. And the first one is this, be intentional and give life everywhere that you go. See, David never took a shortcut to the throne, even when someone else was sitting in the position that was actually meant for him. No matter what happened, when Saul was a mess, David still served and championed him whether or not he agreed with Saul's ways. You see, imagine David speaking life towards Saul and then actually serving him with a pure heart. He never lost sight of his purpose even though he wasn't in the position. I think the second thing that we can do is we can also remain with the spirit of excellence and expectation. See, we should develop a posture of contentment in Psalms 84 verse 11, it says that God will withhold no good thing for those whose walk is blameless. So expect good things. Expect good things to happen. Expect a relationship. Expect a promotion. Expect the opportunity. Expect a dream or vision to happen. Partner your faith with His presence and watch how fast God can move. David never stopped working hard and he never stopped working without excellence behind him. And he knew how important it was to stay in God's presence at all times. So when you put your presence, or if you combine presence with your purpose, you can be like David. Purpose plus presence made him a man after God's own heart. And there you have it. That's how we walk together. And while we're talking about purpose, we wanna to pray today for our growth track team. That's our team. We are able to help you find purpose and discover how to make a difference here at LifePoint. Would you pray with me? Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to serve and to find and walk in our purpose. And I pray that you would build our growth track team and that you would build our team to be able to help people find what, what makes them go, what wires them, what they can do, God, to serve and to help others find their passions and their purpose. We thank you, God, that you've chosen us for such a time as this. And we're so grateful, God, and honored that we could be a part of something so much bigger and so much greater than us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.